name is Mike, and this is a project called MADS. MADS is a controller and a set of actuators for playing real drums using MIDI. MIDI is a musical language between instruments and computers. This project has been a hobby of mine for about eight years, and I'm excited to share it with you. Mads can be used live, triggered from a phone, computer, keyboard, drum pad, or other MIDI instrument. Or it can play back something prearranged, like this drum pattern. The actuator solenoid receives a pulse from the controller. This draws the plunger into the coil. Then the arm will seesaw into the drum. The solenoid is also rotating in this linkage. There are ball bearings at each joint, bump stops, a return spring, the cover is snap fit, and there's a clamp at the back to fix the actuator in place, such as to a cymbal stand or L-rod. The plastic parts are 3D printed using SLS nylon, and all of the components can be easily assembled and disassembled with a screwdriver. The heads on the actuator arm can also be replaced, such as with a felt beater or a brush. This is the controller, or MIDI decoder. It has a 5-pin DIN and USB-C MIDI input, and they can be used simultaneously. On the back, you can connect up to 12 actuators. Press the map button, and the first 12 MIDI notes received will be mapped to output lines 1 through 12. Play a note, and then turn the rotary knob to quickly adjust the volume of that drum. The monitor displays information about each note played. You can use the rotary knob and button to navigate the menus to change the MIDI channel, manually map notes to drums, and set how soft or loud each drum will be played according to the MIDI velocity of the note. One MIDI note can be assigned to more than one drum, and you can set the controller to respond to all MIDI channels. I removed the screws, and here's what's under the hood. The MADS controller uses a current limiting capacitor charging circuit and a PTC thermistor. These components ensure that the solenoid that's inside the actuator doesn't burn out or overheat. After rolling fast for two minutes, the actuator is getting warm. The protection will open to prevent the solenoid from overheating. After about 30 seconds, it'll cool off and automatically reset. The controller was prototyped and developed using the Teensy LC microcontroller board, and the current design implements the Cortex M0 Plus processor with the Teensy bootloader chip. It's programmed in the Arduino IDE with the Teensy Duino add-on. Again, a whisper of shadows creeping in Ghost of flames that never die Echoes of a haunted grass Silent footsteps in the woods Ancient voices where they stood To scare it on the faded hill Whisper bring us to our knees Voices in the night Piezos placed on the MIDI instrument pad and beneath the actuator measure the total system latency. A latency of about 9 milliseconds, as shown on the scope, makes MADS a joy to use live. 
Hundreds of actuator designs were built and tested in pursuit of improvements to speed and sound, and there were four distinct generations of the controller. After nearly eight years, I'm calling MADS a success. Not just because the technical goals were met, but because I really love playing music with this system. Playing with live drums is electrifying, and my friends and family really enjoy playing with it too. This project also provided exciting learning opportunities across various disciplines, and I'd be happy to share more about the design and build process. And lastly, if you'd like to send me a MIDI file for Mads to perform something you composed, please drop me a line. How's it going?